जय श्री राधे कंटिन्यूइंग विद द रीडिंग ऑन डे टेन वार्ता नंबर टू स्टोरी ऑफ कृष्ण भट एंड पार्ट सेवन कंटिन्यूड श्री वल्लभादी शखी जय हो श्रीनाथ जी की जय हो जय सब वैष्णव खो सादर सप्रेम जय श्री कृष्ण When Krishna Bhatt had completed his temple seva he came outside he invited Nagji to partake of prasad Nagji said I have only just had the prasad from the lord's breakfast service I am not hungry right now Krishna Bhatt insisted that he eat a little sakari prasad Nagji didn't want to but he agreed on Krishna Bhatt's insistence after partaking the two of them went to an isolated room and sat down they shut the door and began to discuss the lord's the beloved lord's pastimes <coughs> The next day Krishna Bhatt's wife made the rajbhog offerings and stood at the door and called out Shri Takaji's rajbhog has been offered get up and bathe only then did the two of them emerge they had completely forgotten their bodies whilst enjoying their discussions having lost the sense of identity with their physical forms they cleaned their teeth and bathed and Krishna Bhatt entered the temple and accepted the offerings back as prasad Nagji Bhatt again had the holy sight of Shri Takaji in the wooden sandals and was extremely happy the two of them then partook of mahaprasad and then went back to that place and again began their chin- discussions they had locked the door from the inside and did not emerge for a full 3 days for they were so immersed in the nectar of the beloved lord and forgot their bodies they bathed made their seva to the lord and partook of prasad then they went back to the same place and began to discuss the beloved lord's pastimes they only came out after 7 days in this way Both of them were replete with love for the Lord. They began to talk about one lady Vaishnava and suddenly stood up and decided to go and visit her. The Lord had already informed that lady that the next day Krishna Bhatt and five other Vaishnavas would be visiting her the next morning and that she should make ready for their visit. That day she made and offered all the preparations and after completing the Lord's seva sat at her door. She began to look out for Krishna Bhatt. Soon Krishna Bhatt arrived there, but he was alone. They greeted each other with the Lord's name. She asked him where the other five Vaishnavas had got to. Krishna Bhatt realized that she had been informed by Shri Takuji of their impending arrival. So he went and brought Nagji Bhatt and the other Vaishnavas there. She greeted them all with the Lord's name and was delighted to bring them into her house. After the Rajbhog was complete and after the Rajbhog Aarti, she opened the doors to her Shri Takuji's temple. The Vaishnavas were all very happy to have his holy sight. When she had settled her Shri Takuji down for his afternoon rest, she served them all very nicely with prasad. They then all sat down and began to discuss the Lord's pastimes. They ended up staying there for forty days and were totally absorbed in the bliss of such satsang. Then Nagji Bhatt took his leave and went to Gokul. Krishna Bhatt also returned home. Nagji Bhatt first went to Sri Nath Dwara and had the holy sight of Nath Sri Nathji. From there he went to Gokul and bowed down to Sri Gosaiji. Sri Gosaiji asked him how come his journey had taken such a long time. Nagji Bhatt bowed to Sri Gosaiji and told him all the news of his meeting with with Krishna Bhatt. Hearing this Sri Gosaiji said nothing. Afterwards Sri Gosaiji again asked Nagji about about Krishna Bhatt. Nagji Bhatt recounted the whole story to him. Having asked about Krishna Bhatt, Sri Gosaiji then inquired after Krishna Bhatt Sri Takuji's seva. Hearing the news, Sri Gosaiji was very pleased. Some time after Krishna Bhatt came to Gokul and bowed before Sri Gosaiji. Part eight. Once all the Vaishnavas from Ujjain came to Krishna Bhatt's home. Krishna Bhatt greeted them all with the Lord's name and offered them all a seat. They gathered. Vaishnavas requested Krishna Bhatt to tell them about the Lord's Ras Lila, his great circle dance. Krishna Bhatt replied to them, "The Ras Lila happens in Braj, so go to Braj and have the holy sight there. The Ras Lila only happens in Braj." The Vaishnavas heard this and said, "Our heart's desire is to see the Ras Lila now, and Braj is far away. With your permission, why don't we make all the necessary arrangements here itself?" Krishna Bhatt saw how insistent they were. He said, "On your insistence, we all celebrate Ras Lila here itself on the full moon night. On the following full moon, all the Vaishnavas gathered together, and Krishna Bhatt facilitated their wish to watch, watch the Ras Lila play. Krishna Bhatt helped to dress and adorn all the Ras Lila swarupas or players, and then he adorned the Ras Lila swarup, whose role was Shri Takuji himself, and placed the mukut crown upon his head. All the swarupas were ready." 
Then Krishna Bhatt asked the extremely beautiful daughter of one of the Vaishnavas to apply collyrium to all of their eyes, and she did. Krishna Bhatt then welcomed the Swarupas onto the Ras Mandal, took the opportunity to have the holy sight of each of them very carefully, and bowed to each of them in turn. Those players were then all filled with the divine spirit of the Supreme Lord, and all the Vaishnavas bowed to them. Bhav Prakash the principle of the path of grace is that Sri Krishna manifests through the intense divine loving sentiment of the devotee. In the Vedic lawful path, the manifestation of the Lord depends on mantras, whereas in the path of grace this is effected by the divine love of the accomplished Vaishnava. Sri Acharya has written in his Sanyasa Nirane treatise, Conclusions on Renunciation, <clears throat> verse 8, There is no other method to effect the mood of divine love other than emulating the perfect love with one's heart. In this path, reward is if, is perfected by heartfelt love alone. Krishna Bhatt's heart is replete with the love for Sri Krishna and all his pastimes, and thus he is situated there. Therefore, through Krishna Bhatt's heartfelt divine mood, the Supreme Lord and all his leelas manifested right there. Part 8 continued. After this, all the Mandali Swarupas started to dance. Their dance was divine, as were their musical accompaniments. This vision was perfectly divine. All the Vaishnavas were very, very happy as they experienced this otherworldly joy. Only Krishna Bhatt felt distressed, thinking, Oh no, I have caused so much trouble to the Lord. He felt so bad, burning with worry about this. He began to cry profusely, but the Lord is merciful. He heard Krishna Bhatt's plea. All the Vaishnavas had a divine experience. The Lord is most kind to his devotees. The boy who had played Sri Takuji did not return to his senses for three whole days afterwards and did so only on the fourth day. One year later, the leader of that same troop of players, the Ras Dhari, came there and Krishna Bhatt told the Vaishnavas saying that if they wanted to organise the Ras Lila performance again, then they could, but that he would not be involved. The Vaishnavas organised the performance, however, they did not get that same joy as before. They said amongst themselves that only Krishna Bhatt was able to generate such love in the Rasa play. This was the conclusion to which they came. Krishna Bhatt was indeed uh, such an accomplished Vaishnav. So, Arj and Dikijay, we will take uh, a small break until tomorrow for part 11. Jai Shri Radhiji, Jai Shri Krishna. <laughs> 